Hey everyone, welcome back to the rigging basics of Blender part 2. Now, ignore the basics word because I'm in general going to teach you everything that I know. So, in the last video, we have uh, created this. So, we rigged this plane and we animated it. Now, I'll just go ahead and delete the animation uh, because we are going to do it once more. As you can see, in the last video, we manually uh, animated each one of these bones, which is okay. You can do it that way or you can parent each and every one of this bone to another bone and then you can just animate that one single bone to like have more control on your rig and it is done actually in a lot of rigs. So there are always a lot of control bones available in your rig of any character that you have so we will learn how to add control bone and then we will give it a custom shape to basically make it look more appealing you'll know what i mean just in just in a second when we do it uh, or a minute um, so the first thing we want to do is go into the edit mode and then um, i think i want my control bone at the center so my cursor is already at the center so you know what let's just do shift a now it has added a bone um now if i go into the wireframe mode you'll see that i have a uh, extra bone over here now let uh, now the scale of the bone initially doesn't matter um so when you are in edit mode you can scale bone to any length if you want so i'll just keep my bone like that now in the pose mode um, if you are not in the x-ray, you can see that the selecting bones is quite difficult even though I think it has selected the inside bone, yeah. But you know, visually this uh, won't help like because the bones are overlapping obviously. So what you can do is, uh, the first thing you can do is change the display type of the bone. Um, I can change it to stick. Now as you can see, uh, with, with this i can select the bone that i made uh, and to be organized let's go into the let's change this to octahedral again now in the edit mode i'll just rename this as control bone now this bone will control all these four extra bones so the way you do it is select all the bones that you want to be controlled and then uh, shift select the last bone not that one okay this is going to be a problem um okay you know what let's just go ahead hide this bone for a minute now by the way for hiding i hope you saw that i pressed h now select all the bones nice now shift select the last bone and then hit ctrl p and then you have to click on keep offset now these four bones will follow the control bone so now let's do alt h to unhide that bone now just to check the relation i'll just okay no one is parented to that now let's go into the pose mode again now if i move this bone you can see that that bone the inside one it is now controlling the outside edges now i can move this bone and animate it like this but still like if you want to keep the octahedral like the display to the octahedral you don't actually want to use stick then you can give it a custom shape like this bone can have a custom shape which you might have seen in most of the rigs um so you know what we'll give it a custom pose or you can say custom shape so in the bone properties uh, let's go into the edit mode first in the bone properties um go into the viewport display uh no wait um bendy bones nope not so it okay yeah there it is um so i think i had to be in the pose mode to do that okay great so switch to the pose mode um okay switch the pose mode then go into the bone properties uh go into the viewport display and then can you see the custom shape um drop down just drop it down now we need a custom shape to give this bone uh so let's make that first so now the custom shape can be a mesh or it can be a curve whatever you want it so i'll just take a plane again uh, i'll scale it up uh, just a little bit like this uh, we have auto keyframing on let's delete that okay now let's uh, apply the rotation and scale now i'll go into the edit mode x and i'll do i'll delete only face 
so now i have this uh vertex outline for me uh that's what i need now let's make a new collection let's call it bone shapes just to stay organized and then we will move this to the new collection like that and now what we are going to do is we are going to take uh, let's go into the pose mode again um inside the okay now in the pose mode select the bone which you want to add a custom shape go into the viewport display custom shape and then with this drop down you can select the plane you have okay now the thing is that it is rotated in a weird way uh, and to fix that i think what we can do is we can take this go into the edit mode and then rotate it on the x axis like this and then again in the object mode if you want you can rotate it back like this so basically we just gave it a x rotation uh, now if you move this anywhere it doesn't really matter um, also like the scale scale of the bone hmm, i think we can change that as well so as you can see um, that bone has now bit uh, to, uh, has now taken this shape um, actually you know what you can actually rotate give the rotation over here as well so uh, i think it is a bet best practice like let's just apply the rotation and scale over here let's take the bone itself let's go into the pose mode and now that bone has turned into the rectangle that we have so now let's correct the rotation uh, let's make it 90 degree like this uh, and then over here you can increase its scale if you want so i'll keep the scale something like this so let's just make it okay let's make it zero let's make it two okay now if i move that you'll see wait let me just go okay so that control bone now has a shape which you can control the other bones with it nice so now the rigging uh, also in the pose mode now you can uh, go into the armature settings uh, and then i think you can uh, no not that let's create a new collection a new bone collection um, and let's call it corner bones okay and now we will assign this uh, assign these bones let's click on assign and now we can hide the corner bones which for some reason it didn't hide it uh -huh. if we hide this everything gets hidden okay um so from this collection i think we have to remove those so let's select everything and this uh, original let's remove it okay so now we actually haven't deleted the bones but what we have did is we gave them their own separate collection um, and now we can just keep them hidden uh, until we want them so this is also a new feature in blender um, now if i go into the pose mode you can see this is my control bone and i can animate with it also in the render uh, this bone will not show just like the normal bones so i can now easily animate everything like I can just turn on the auto keyframing, select these two bones, add a keyframe of location, then go on the 10th frame, take this, move it up like this. Uh, also, let's keyframe this. And then let's go to the frame number 20 and only select the last bone and move it till over there. And we have easily animated it again. And this is how you add custom shapes to your bone. Uh, which is really handy and you can even add custom shape to this one so i'll just turn on my custom shapes again the collection and now let's add in a empty let's see if empty works uh, i don't know if really it works or not but let's add in a cube um, so now this is a cube empty let's try uh, okay so now this bone the center root bone let's try to give it a new empty let me turn that off let's okay so empties uh, empties won't work so i'll add a hey editing isometric here by the way i said that empties don't work but that's actually just a glitch uh, i'll show you that empty actually does work so let me just uh, go ahead and add in a empty so i'll add a 
cone empty for this example let's rotate this by 90 ah. now let's put it elsewhere now let's select this bone and then go into the custom objects now as you can see you can't really select stuff from drop down so all i have to do was just select the empty like that and that bone is now a cone which kind of rhymed um so you can again change the scale transition uh, or translation sorry uh, and the rotation if you want so yeah that's it okay good to know um so let's add in a cube now you'll see that i haven't uh, i'm not going to delete the faces uh let's just keep it a cube uh, and you know as position doesn't matter i'll keep it somewhere else um so let's go into the pose mode again select the cube uh select the cube okay it is not selecting the cube um okay so it has taken the cube nice um i think we'll have to delete the faces for it um or oh no we don't actually um all you had to do was to check this checkbox um which is wireframe and then it is just making it go wireframe which is nice now you can increase and decrease the scale over here so i want this bone to be around scale this much say 0 0.2 uh and yeah um i can just hide the bone shapes again and we have our rigged plane <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny that we rigged a plane but sometimes you might need it um so this is like rigging a plane so now that we have time with us uh, what i can do is i can create let's create something new um so should i delete this or you know what I, i'll just keep this uh let's call it um plane rig okay let's hide that also um the reason why i'm keeping the custom shapes in the their own collection because you don't uh, create new shapes all the time uh you just reuse the basic shapes that you have or uh, i mean you know what i mean like you can reuse these shapes again and again so i'm just keeping them like this also um i'm just going to add it a face again so that i can see it clearly um and to correct the thing again let's select that and check on wireframe nope not that one oh i i have to go into the pose mode um, so let's select that wireframe and boom done um so let's hide the plane rig and now we will move uh let's rig something natural or something useful so i will add in a cube now with the cube let's scale it on the y like this um let's move it on the z with one so that it is at the origin i'll apply the rotation and scale um now let's go ahead and give it some segments uh let's give it some even segments like 10 okay now uh let's go ahead and make it its own new collection so cube rig now this cube rig will be divided into a lot of uh, rigs like we even have to try bendy bones um but before i think bendy bones will be their own tutorial separately so we won't be covering that in this tutorial i'll try to keep my tutorial short so let us go ahead and uh, add in a new armature shift a let's go into the armature and it has added a bone now let's go ahead in the armature settings and then check in front so that we can see the bone now we will add few bones uh, so let me go into the edit view um you know what would help in this case i like to turn on the wireframe so then i can see uh, where my wireframe is like where the mesh is so usually the bendy area i like to keep it uh, let me turn on the vertex mode okay vertex snapping now i will snap it at the middle i think that is the middle i think one two three four five okay i think the middle is at uh, over here 
okay now i'll go ahead and i'll extrude it again on the z i mean this looks kind of a middle-ish so i'll just keep it over there now it doesn't really matter um you know what uh actually there is a really easy way to do it also uh, i can just make my bone like this and then i can right click and subdivide it so as you can see the middle is over there so i think i can again go ahead in the edit mode now it doesn't really matter but i'll just add a um a loop cut over there um or you know what let's just select everything because it is looking very uneven i'll just select everything x and then i'll do a limited dissolve um now let's go ahead and add segments after adding a segments uh, let's go ahead and go into the pose mode select the armature let's go into the pose mode now it is going to be rotating on over here right so let's select our mesh let's select our armature control p with automatic weights now the reason why i did the automatic weights is because i wanted some organic movement now let's check the weight paint ones uh, so you'll know what organic uh, did so select the armature select the mesh itself let's go into the weight paint mode now as you can see with the automatic weights it has on the head it gives a uh, like a uh, really high value of mesh control which is red and then blue is like zero so from the to towards the tail as you can see it has given some control but not full uh, because the next bone uh, it has uh, red on the top which is like it is um, it is it has full control on the top and then as this is uh, shared between these two bones it has limited control at the middle uh, but you'll uh, which is exactly what we want so now let's go into the pose mode and if you press r you can press r twice to rotate it and check how it is behaving you can weight paint if you want um, and it is looking good now this is a root bone which will move everything um, so yeah that's how you rig it and then you can add some more controls on top so now that we are on this point i think it is great time to show you what ik does so moving bones like this is called as forward kinematics so you are setting the angle and the final position is uh dependent upon what angle you gave i'll select everything and clear its location and rotation by alt g and alt r now let's go into the edit mode again and then extrude the bone on the z direction like this now let's go ahead and do alt p and let's clear the parents now after clearing the parent um we are going to go into the pose mode again now in the pose mode if you move this nothing is happening so what we will do is we will go ahead and select the second bone uh, let's go to the bone constraint now you have to keep in mind that um, bone constraint and object constraint those two are really different so in the pose mode select the just the second bone before the ik bone that is going to be our ik bone by the way um so actually not the ik we will call it the target bone uh ik bone is going to be this one so uh, add in a inverse kinematics constraint on it now when you add inverse kinematics uh and if i grab this bone it is still going to work but it is better to use the ik bone like the target um so ik bone will work as inverse kinematics uh, and you can even set the chain length and you can still animate it it will still work um, so now we will select this drop down select the armature and now you can't really uh, use drop down to select the bone for some reason so we need to know what the name of this bone is so the name of this bone is bone.002 uh, can we rename it yep we can so let's just name it target and then select our ik bone now let's select our target bone and now if i take the target bone and grab it you'll see that it is working as 
the, I mean it is working like before and we have an animated cube or you can say a rigged cube mm. let me turn off the wireframe by the way this quick favorite um, if you want to add it just right click on the stuff you want and then assign shortcut no wait add to quick favorite so i basically added this wireframe to my quick favorite because i'm always needing this yeah and now i can go ahead in the pose mode and then animate it to do something like movement or stuff now another thing that you can use with the ik bone is the pole bone which is this pole target now the pole target uh, controls the rotation of the bone and it is important uh, while using ik sometimes because suppose i have this bone okay and as you can see if i move beyond at that point you'll see that the bone uh, suddenly changes its rotation like let's go from the top view uh, let me bring that down a little bit okay so if i go like this you'll see wait let us give it some y as well okay so you'll see that it is rotating a little bit uh, which is really fast now this rotation like the way this bone is pointing we can control that by using pole so let us clear the ever clear everything now let's go into the edit mode and then i'll set my pole somewhere uh in the y direction i guess um so let's extrude a bone on the y axis like this now you have to clear its parent as well let's move it far a little bit like that also um, a good practice is to have the bones a little bit of rotation initially uh, which is really great uh, i didn't do that but i'll just demonstrate a uh, real quick okay let's name this as pole now let's select the ik bone and then select the pole target as armature one and then we will select the pole bone now now that we have selected the pole bone it will uh, let us give it a little bit of uh, rotation now as you can see this looks really stiff um, and it is because of the pole as you can see the bones are pointing towards me also one nice feature is that if you turn on the axis let's make them go in the middle like that so now this uh, this whole armature thing it is now looking at its x-axis is pointing towards my bone uh, which is nice uh, we wanted that now as you saw that if i move the target nothing is happening and it is because we don't have a rotation like they are perfectly straight which is not really ideal so if you have any character uh, make sure to give them a little bit of a, a twist like this like if i move it like that let's go to the pose mode and you see that it we gave it twist over there but it is pointing towards that axis um, which is not what we want but if i move this you'll see that um, I can now control the rotation with this bone uh, which is what we want but again uh, if you saw something like we gave it the tilt on this uh, y axis but it has uh, it has rotated itself towards that positive sorry negative x axis and to fix that what we can do is we can go into the ik bone and as you can see the pole angle uh, it is zero we can just type in 90 over there uh, which is the wrong axis again so we will plug minus 90 now it is pointing in the correct direction uh, awesome so now this is one way of fixing it another thing that you can do is you can go into the edit mode now let's go into the side view uh, or any view you want press shift n and then we will select view axis now everything uh, the every bone has a pole angle by the way if you can see over here so it has rolled to 90 degree 
it is also at 90 its roll is also at 90 as you can see its positive x-axis is pointing toward that direction um, so now let's go to the pose view again let's clear whatever we plugged over here and as you can see without changing the pole angle we got the correct orientation of the bone and now you can go ahead and animate this bone any way you want and as you can see if i'm going beyond the axis wait let me just move it down a little bit and as you can see even if i go beyond the origin point it is not rotating because it's taking its rotation from this bone now so you can assume that uh, or you can say that this bone uh, the pole is kind of like the origin of that thing so if i move it like this you can see now it is acting like uh, the origin now it is acting like the way it was before so have your pole bone a little bit far away like this like where you want your uh, bones to be pointing towards so that's how the pole bone works so i think this is a good concluding point or a stopping point for us uh, in this video so quick recap what we did um, by the way first we added the uh, bone shapes uh, wait do you guys want to know how uh, how to add bone shapes on this i guess you guys want uh, so you know what before concluding it um, we added bone shapes uh, and the way we did is we went into pose mode and then we selected the bone properties we went into the custom shapes and we created some custom shapes already so i just going to select this cube as my custom shape and for, for some reason we are not able to uh, which is which feels like a bug but i'll just select the cube and then to make it wireframe let's select that and then we can add a scale to it nice so that way we added uh, custom shapes now you know i'll actually add another custom shape let's add in a spear uh, let's add in an ico spear let's move it somewhere like this okay uh, let me turn that off huh. so now let's go into the pose mode again and the pole bone let's select that and let's give it uh okay it's not working um ico spear and then let's make it wireframe scale it down okay so that is our pole so we have given shape uh, to our rig uh, and now you might even call this as a professional rig um, so that's how it works um, so we did that we did some weight painting we didn't actually do weight painting we just assigned the mesh to the bone uh, with automatic weights uh, so we did that um, yeah uh, so now let's clear the rotation okay that's it for this video thank you you all so much for watching hope this series is helping uh, if this series is uh, helping you in some way uh, so just tell me in the comment section below like if you want something more with this um, I'll try to cover as much as I can so in the next video uh, we might cover bendy bones and in the end we will also rig a character that I made a low poly character and then we will try to rig a high res character um, so yeah uh, stay tuned uh, subscribe so that you don't miss uh, future videos uh, also with the subscribe you can turn on the notification if you want thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye